As a former first round pick that plays for the Dallas Cowboys, C.D. Lamb is the type of player that I would expect to get more national recognition. He's had close to a thousand receiving yards in each of his first three seasons, and he's gotten noticeably better every year, but he just doesn't get the respect or attention that his level of play warrants. Through the first 13 weeks, C.D. Lamb leads NFL receivers with a 91.7 PFF grade versus man coverage, and when you watch the film, it tells the exact same story. He's one of the smartest and most nuanced route runners in the NFL, and that allows him to consistently create separation against man. Right here, he's in a twin stack to the boundary facing press coverage. He does a great job stemming his release inside and then bouncing into an outside release. This foot quickness and agility at the line of scrimmage makes him really effective against press coverage. He's able to execute this release with enough body control to prevent the cornerback from making contact. And then once he gets upfield, you see the exact same thing with his route breaks. He's fast, but he's not someone that's gonna win consistently by just running past you. So being this quick with his route breaks allows him to create separation at the end of the play without leaving enough time for the cornerback to close the space. A lot of C.D. Lamb's routes involve some sort of double move, which takes advantage of his elite foot speed. He does a great job on this play, squaring up with Jair Alexander at the top of the route and then crossing him over and breaking outside. And this allows him to have a lot of success on quick slants and out routes, anything where you've got a quick break inside or outside. C.D. Lamb's almost always at an agility advantage over the defender. But you also see this with the vertical route tree. So looking at this play against New York, he fakes the stop and go into a deep curl. He has rare start stop ability and against a corner that's playing off coverage like this, he can just run these vertical option routes and essentially put him in a no win situation. Even when he isn't explicitly running a double move, he still does a great job of using his quickness to his advantage. You see this come into play when he's attacking a defensive back's leverage. So right here, the Packers are in cover three, and the biggest weakness of cover three is the seams right in between the deep third defenders. So in order to run this route into the soft spot of the zone coverage, CeeDee Lamb needs to get an inside release here. He does a great job here of attacking the defensive back's leverage. He gives this jab step to the outside to force the hip turn. And then, like I said, he's almost always at a quickness advantage over his opponent, especially against a converted safety. So he's able to break off of this jab step into an inside release, and the slot defender isn't able to keep up. Next play, Dallas is running a double post concept. The corner's playing top down on anything that breaks inside. So CD Lamb gives an outside jab step to widen the corner, and that creates just enough cushion for Dak Prescott to have an open throwing window. This is what's most impressive about CD Lamb's game is that most receivers can't run their routes this way. It would just take too long. Adding a dino stem or a crossover onto every single route isn't sustainable unless you have elite quickness to maintain that timing. So right here, the corner's giving about five yards of cushion. CD Lamb gets upfield. This slot corner doesn't have any help to the inside, so CD Lamb attacks the area of the field that he's trying to protect, gets the corner to overreact, and then breaks his route to the sideline. And then one more from the Giants game. Again, you've got this double post concept on the right side. Off coverage defender playing over the top. If CD Lamb just runs a normal skinny post here, that's creating a really tight window for Cooper Rush to fit this throw into. So again, he gives a subtle step to the outside within the flow of his route. That widens out the corner and gives him the separation that he needs. And an important aspect of this is how every movement within his route flows together seamlessly. He's able to be this aggressive with his footwork because everything that he's doing just looks like one motion. He's not running these chop be segmented routes where he's just stringing a bunch of moves together. Every step that he makes has a defined purpose, and he's so fluid with all of his movements that the defensive back doesn't have time to react. This is something CeeDee Lamb's always been good at, but he's made a lot of other improvements to his game that's taken him from being a top 20 receiver to, in my opinion, a top 10 receiver. The first major improvement that CeeDee Lamb's made this year is he's gotten a lot better at beating press coverage. In his first two seasons, I thought he was much better working from the slot where he didn't face as much press, but this year he's done a much better job getting off the line of scrimmage. Part of that is that I think his play strength has improved. You see that on this play against Detroit, just fighting through contact with physicality, throws up the hand, and then an incredible adjustment to this throw with a safety coming down over the top. Here's another physical release. Does a great job using this inside hand to shield off the cornerback's punch. And then he draws a pass interference. He's also gotten a lot better at using his hands down the field throughout the process of the route. Right here, he's matched up with Kyler Gordon, who's trying to maintain contact and stay in phase. But CD Lamb uses what's called a wipe technique, which I've talked a lot about on this channel. Basically, he just creates a circular motion with his inside hand to swipe away at the arm. And then once CD Lamb really masters beating press coverage like this, he has that quickness to create easy separation downfield. And then outside of press coverage, the main area of improvement for CeeDee Lamb has been actually catching the football. This is another really nice release on the goal line against Adoree Jackson, and an even better catch with one hand in the corner of the end zone. 
CD Lamb has had some crazy spectacular catches this year. He had this really nice toe tap a few weeks ago against the Vikings. Can't remember if this play ended up getting called back. I know there was something weird going on with a late penalty. And then this one was called an incompletion, but just an insane one-handed catch in the back of the end zone. There have still been a few bad drops this year. He had three drops in the first three weeks but since week four, he's only had one drop, and on the season, he's essentially cut his drop rate in half from the first two years. So if you were to ask me before the season where CD Lamb ranks among NFL receivers, I probably would have said top 15, give or take. And the two weaknesses that I would point to would be beating press coverage and consistently catching the ball. And both of those are areas that CD Lamb has shown significant, noticeable improvement. And so you combine that with his already elite route running and what he can do after the catch. And I think CD Lamb has really established himself as a top 10 wide receiver. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any players or teams that you'd like me to cover.